What's up everybody? Welcome to our latest YouTube video that is sponsored by Squarespace. Today we are gonna be walking you through kind of the layout for our new personal Sprinter van. So it's the 174 by four, it's 2019. Um, we ordered a bench seat. So first off, we're gonna be showing you how we're gonna be getting the bench seat installed. It's a little bit of a different bench seat than you might have seen in uh, some of the other conversions, but we're really excited for some of the features that's, that it has. And, blah, 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 blah. and luckily, I have Ori here in his matching Carhartt beanie yeah. as well. So we teased this in the last video, but Ori and his family have actually been on the road for about six months traveling full-time in their van, and we have convinced them to move to Boise and work with us. So yeah. Ori's gonna be my new partner in crime, and he has some severe welding skills. I don't so, know about severe, but... Some intense. Some, uh, something. Some, uh, some advanced, how about that? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna be going through the seat install, van layout, it's freaking cold, it's 20 degrees yeah, outside right now. We don't wanna switch the family van and uh, pull it out of the shop and bring it in the shop because it's only gonna take like 45 minutes hopefully. So we're gonna throw some gloves on and layer up and uh, go do this out in the cold. Is the bench seat that we ordered for our van we got it from suburban seats and what is really cool about it is the fact that it does fold up out of the way so it's a two-person seat with seat belts but uh when we're not using it we're going to be able to fold the whole thing up against the wall which is pretty cool i have the seat in now i gotta get it approved by the boss hey mercedes what can i do for you call sarah james calling james sarah that's a pretty cool feature of this van. I like the Mercedes function. Hey, what's up? Oh, you know, just calling you from the van. No big deal. <laughs> um, nice. We have the seat all set. You want to come check it out? Yep. Just give me one second. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Approved workwear. Footwear. Yeah, I like those work shoes. Thank you. <laughs> it's the new clear, clear steel toe. Oh. Yeah. I like it. Cool. Approved. Right. You got the boss's approval. <laughs> We're gonna drill some holes. Okay. So Ori is drilling those right now with just eighth inch drill bits. We've already double checked like underneath. We already drilled one hole prior just to make sure that where we were gonna be is where we wanted to be under the van. But now we've gone and we've drilled all the corners out, so he's gonna go back under the van again and check and make sure that the placement is where we want it to be. You like? Oh, I was like, I was looking back there. Yeah, yeah, that's all working out for me. So we're here at Ryan's shop, Ryan, who sold us our house. He's got a shop here called Trax Customs in Meridian, and they have a welder, which Ori needs to weld some of the brackets together for the seat. So they're lucky, or they're nice enough to let us borrow the welder. So Ori's super excited because he gets to do some welding right now. Not done yet. You're not? No. No, you sure? I thought you were done. No. Yeah. Yeah, he decided to add a little little extra. All right, just got back to the shop. We have the bracket, so now we are gonna get underneath the van, freeze our tails off, and drill some holes underneath the van for the bracket and the bolts to go through and get the seat fit in here. We're close. It's uh, about five o'clock, so this has pretty much taken just about all day to get everything fabricated, ready to go, get the materials. Or he's been kicking butt out here, and now we're about to put the seat in because it's ready to go. Check this out under the van. I'm gonna hop on the uh, creeper right here, show you guys what's up. So, this is the bracket system. So, as you can see, we come on both sides of this existing frame piece right here. 
And then again right here, and we've got the bolt holes coming down. So time to put this bad boy on. option. It still gives you plenty of room to, to walk around and go through the middle. You've got plenty of leg room. The seat is in the position that I keep it in when I'm driving. I'm like 5'10". Really, I'm 5'9". Fine. I'm 5'8 and 3 quarters. You want to talk about it? And we have room to put our shiplap on the side here. And then we don't want to use it. Let's see if I could do this in one fluid motion. I'm going to drop this down. Uh oh. And then... Don't mess up. I'm going to... Release this. Nope. You just have to give a little push down and then release. Uh -huh. And then this locks it in place. That's how you actually do it. Yeah. Now, Sarah and I are going to tell you a little bit more about our layout. All right, we were gonna make this quick because it just started snowing. But we're gonna show you guys, walk you through kind of what we're thinking for our layout. And yeah. And yes, yesterday we did, we pulled the brackets off, we painted them and we put them back on. So now they're ready to go and they won't rust. You guys already saw the seat that folds down and we're still playing around with Vance's bed situation. So we're not really gonna talk about that. As we build it out, we'll let you guys know about that. We're gonna have, I think, a little closet, right? A little closet, big bathroom, our standard bathroom with the urine diverting toilet. Takes up about 45 inches from 45 front to inches. back. Kitchen over here on this side, upper cabinets. We're gonna do the seaside layout that we did in the ProMaster that has the little bit of an elevated space in between the two benches. It's about seven inches tall, so you could slide in like skis or extra gear, um, snowboards, whatever, that kind of stuff. It is snowing. I'm sure you're getting the effect here of <laughs> the snow. It looks pretty cool. Um, and then still have upper cabinets all the way up there. And then we'll have upper cabinets here. But yeah, we're so excited to finally build this out and have a van again. And did I miss anything? I don't think so. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah. If you are looking for more information about our van conversions, or if you're looking for more information about the seat install there's a link down below for our website which is actually built on squarespace squarespace sponsored this video we absolutely love their templates that you can use to build a website everything's mobile friendly you can set up products on there you can have amazon products listed in there everything is just built into squarespace which is so nice there's no plugins no extra stuff required no constantly updating and messing up your site it's so easy to use and that's pretty much it. We absolutely love Squarespace. So you can check out Squarespace by going to squarespace.com to get a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can use squarespace.com forward slash 40 hours to get 10% off a purchase of a website or domain. We really hope you guys do check that out. Yes, this is a sponsored vid video, but we absolutely love Squarespace and have been using them for years and years and even used to build client websites with Squarespace. So we absolutely love them. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this. Do you absolutely love them? I do absolutely love them. <laughs> what else do I say? We absolutely love them, okay? We really enjoy their platform. Um, that's it. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Thanks so much for watching this video. Maybe Vance will make a little cameo, but he's taking a nap right now. We've got family in town. So we hope you guys have a wonderful holiday and we will see you in 2020 next year. That's crazy. I can't believe it's gonna be 2020. See you guys next year. Happy holidays. Bye.